What is holding you back from moving out? When the pandemic started, I had to move back to live with my parents after traveling in Asia for six months. I had quit my job and it took me six months to start my own business in Finland. But I was still living with my parents for another year. The obvious benefits were that I didn't have to pay rent and I got food for free. But the downsides were severe. When you're living with your parents, you have multiple distractions every day. Anything might happen in the morning just to realize it's already midday and somehow you lost your best working hours. But that's normal in many environments. What is worse? is the mindset and the bubble of comfort. Working for yourself when you have time to work on your business, it's again very easy to get distracted and just browse 9gag or watch random YouTube videos. That's because the old you likes familiarity. We don't need to go anywhere, just stay here doing nothing. That's the mindset that easily traps you. It certainly affected me. I was trying to do five things at the same time getting almost nothing done. I was playing computer games instead of hustling for my business. I was watching YouTube videos without learning from them or taking action. And finally, I started questioning my sanity because it was quite isolated and lonely. <sighs> Staying at home started regressing me down to old, unhealthy patterns of thinking. Many kinds of self-sabotage started affecting me. Negative beliefs. None of this will work, you know. Just stop trying. It had been over a year living at home and I honestly didn't have a clear direction. Mostly wasting my time on the computer. Countless hours. My business was going nowhere. I got nothing done. The turning point only came when I decided to move out. Deep down I knew that making my business work from home seemed hopeless. And I decided that by 1st of September, I'm out. I didn't know yet where I'm going, but I knew it's abroad. I wanted to stay somewhere warm for the winter. That's not too far. And if you want to stay in Europe, the warmest place to spend the winter is on Canary Islands. I've been there once long time ago, and I figured it's more stimulating than staying in Finland. However, during the summer, I met with my friend who asked me about my plans and he easily convinced me that I would be bored on Canary Islands because it's mostly filled with pensioners and tourist traps. He was planning to go back to Mexico and that got me interested. I've never been to Latin America before and the idea started growing. And I have to be honest to myself, going to Mexico was much more interesting than Canary Islands. That gave me inspiration and motivation to make more videos, work harder on my business and get ready to move. My head started clearing out. The mental fog was replaced by clear direction. I got the tickets on 1st of September and booked an Airbnb apartment for a month. Getting ready was exciting. I was finally able to move mentally into new things, to move forward. And Mexico lived up to its promise and exceeded my expectations. Living there for six months allowed me to open my mind to new possibilities and gave me a lot of motivation to make it on my own. Now I've been back to Finland for a month because my tourist visa expired and I am applying for temporary residence to live there for another year and beyond. That's why I wanted to make this video, because when I got back home, the environment started affecting me instantly. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy and grateful to have parents and a home where I can return to. The problem is in my mind. I'm pulled back into limited thinking, distractions and idleness. What are you doing? It's a challenge not to be affected by your surroundings. But I'm flying back to Mexico in a few days. The point of making this video is because you might be in a similar situation. And I want to encourage you to change your environment, to change your mind, and to change your life. Make a decision to move out. Make a plan to do it. Set a date. Fly out from the nest and discover the world.